Hello class, welcome back to our channel. In this video, uh, I will show you how to solve the expected value or the mean of a discrete probability distribution. So, ang formula na gagamitin natin guys is yung E of X which means the expected value is equal to the summation of X times F of X where X is the element of the support. Okay, so let's have example number one. So let x be a discrete random variable and s is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, be its support. So the probability mass function, ito ngayon yung ating uh, discrete probability distribution, yun nga lang naka-PMF tayo. Okay, so as you notice, sabi dyan, Yung ating probability daw is 1 fourth if x is element of s. Which means yung x natin is yung 0, 1, 2, 3. Okay? Then the probability is 0 if otherwise. Okay? Or if x is not an element of s. So para masolve natin si expected value, kukunin natin yung summation ng x o x times f of x. So, pag sinabi natin summation, guys, ibig sabihin, uh, sum of all, or, or ipagpa-plus natin lahat ng x times f of x. Okay? So, unahin na natin yung ating unang x, which is 0. So, we have 0 times f of x. So, ang, ang f of x natin is 1 fourth. Plus, next natin na S is yung 1 times F of X which is 1 fourth plus 2 times F of X which is 1 fourth plus 3 yung ating last na, na X times 1 fourth. Okay? So, simplify natin yung ating uh, formula. So, 0 times 1 fourth, the 0 or cancel out. Plus 1 times 1 fourth, we have 1 fourth. Plus 2 times 1 fourth, this is 2 over 4. So, sa pagmumultiply lang ng whole number to fraction, imumultiply lang natin yung ating whole number dun sa numerator. Okay? Then, copy the denominator. Then, 3 times 1 fourth, this is 3 over 4. Okay? So, simplify natin to. So, since uh, pare-parehas na yung ating denominator, so, copy lang yung ating denominator, then 1 plus 2 plus 3 is equal to 6, or this is 3 over 2. So, in decimal naman, this is 1.5. Okay, so ito ngayon yung ating magiging uh, expected value. Nakuha ba guys? So let's have another example, number 2. So let x be a discrete random variable with support S1, 2, 3. Where f of x is equal to 1 over 6 times x. If x is an element of s. So, ibig sabihin, kung 1, 2, 3 yung ating x, yung value ng ating uh, random variable, ang kanyang probability is 1 over 6 times x. Okay? Then, 0 naman if otherwise. Okay? Then, we ask to compute for the expected value ng ating x. So, again... So, using the same formula, we have the summation of x times f of x. Okay? So, sa given natin, ang first value ng x natin is 1 times f of x, which is 1 over 6x. So, kung may x yung ating uh, probability, so, ang first na x na ginamit natin is 1. Okay, so meaning, multiply natin si 1 over 6 by 1. Okay? 
plus yung next na value ng x natin which is 2 times f of x which is 1 over 6 x. So, ang x na ginamit natin dito is 2. Okay? Plus 3 times f of x which is 1 over 6 x. So, ang x natin dito is yung 3. Okay, nakuha ba guys? So, simplify natin to. So, 1 times 1 over 6 times 1. This is 1 over 6. Plus, 2 times 1 over 6. This is 2 over 6. Then, times 2, we have 4 over 6. Okay, so again, pag nagmumultiply tayo ng whole number to fraction, Sa numerator lang tayong magmumultiply. Then, 3 times 1 over 6, that is 3 over 6. Then, times 3, that is 9 over 6. Okay? So, since uh, we have common denominators, so bring down lang natin yan. Then, we have 1 plus 4 plus 9, which is 14. So, therefore, the expected value is equal to 7 over 3 or this is uh, 2.33. Okay. So, next, let's have example number 3. So, find the expected value of x. So, this time, uh, we have a discrete probability distribution. So, we have six uh, random variables, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Then, yung probability naman ng ating uh, random variable is we have 0 0.15, 0 0.25, 0 0.30, 0 0.15, 0 0.10, and 0 0.05. So, same, pro uh, same formula pa rin yung gagamitin natin. Para makuha yung expected value ng ating random variable. Okay, yun nga lang. Instead of using uh, x times f of x, this time we have x times p of x. Okay? So, since nakatable naman yung ating uh, discrete probability distribution, so, tuloy na lang natin yung ating table. So, gamitin natin siya para masolve yung ating expected value. So, ang kailangan natin is si x times p of x. So, meaning, kailangan magawa rin natin yung column ng x times p of x. Okay? So, i-multiply lang natin si x doon sa ating corresponding p of x. So, 1 times 0.15. So, we have uh, 0 0.15. Then, 2 times 0.25. This is 0 0.50. 3 times 0.30, so this is 0.90. Then 4 times 0.15, we have 0 0.60. Then 5 times 0.10, this is 0 0.50. Then 6 times 0 0.05, we have 0 0.30. Okay, so after nyo magawa guys, yung ating x times p of x, so, kukunin niya lang yung kanyang summation. Okay? So, pag in natin yan, we have 0 0.15 uh, plus 0 0.50 plus 0 0.90 plus 0 0.60 plus 0 0.50 plus 0 0.30. We have the 2.95. Okay? So, itong 2.95, ito na ngayon yung ating magiging expected value okay nakuha ba guys so this is the end of our video I hope may natutunan kayo so if you have questions or clarifications kindly put them in the comment section below so thank you guys for watching this is Prof D I'll catch you on the flip side bye